following on from my video the other day, it's really starting to look like the Labour Party, led by its women, are actually against women and the right, pandering instead to the smallest minority out there, to the point Lisa Nandy here is more than happy to endanger every woman's space out there, including women's prisons, by allowing sexual predators locked up for attacks on women and children to be placed in women's prisons, because they now identify as a woman. It's lunacy on so many levels I find it hard to believe, or at least I would have. The world has literally lost the plot in recent times, so I kind of expect it. But the reaction of the crowd during Lisa Nandy's response to questioning tells me the entire Labour Party has gone batshit crazy. Now, the clip we are going to look at is from a video that was posted by the Posey Parker YouTube channel last night, which I have linked down below for you to go and watch the whole thing because it's quite incredible. Lisa goes full trans activist during her response and even directly attacks the women's group she called a hate group because they say things that she doesn't like. It is really pathetic for someone who wants to lead the country one day, but par for the course when it comes to Labour MPs these days. I mean, we had that weasel looking half wit Rebecca Wrong Daly on the Andrew Marr show yesterday saying she would change the law to prevent women's refuges excluding trans women while urging Labour members to stop debating it. In other words, all of you women worried about this situation need to pipe down, you transphobic bigots. But enough talk, let's check out this shit show for ourselves. Unequivocal about your support for a policy which has come to be known as sex self-ID. Um, the idea that whether someone is a man or a woman is basically down to a matter of them saying, you know, saying what they are and going through an administrative process. So I wanted to ask you, given um, the growing number of sex offenders, such as someone like Christopher Wharton, who is... Um, a male sex offender who's a, he's a child rapist who was convicted last year of which you court order, who's already convicted of being of multiple child rape, who is now claiming to be a woman. Given that we know there's a growing number of these men, I've got three questions. Should his crimes be recorded, as he would wish, as being committed by a woman? Should, be, should he be accommodated in a women's or a men's prison? prison? And should women in the Labour Party be seen as a hate group if we raise questions like this. Um, okay, let me try, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take them in order if that's all right, and I'll start with this question about the Gender Recognition Act, because, um, and I'm, excuse me for taking a bit of time over this, but I want to treat it with care, because I think it deserves careful language, and most of all, a bit more light and a bit less heat than we've managed to have in this debate so far. So uh, the questions that you asked were about whether cri the, the crimes of a particular person should be recorded as by a woman or a man. And I, I, believe, I believe fundamentally in people's right to self-ID. And I believe that the Gender Recognition Act strikes the wrong balance in relation to that. So I think that crimes that are recorded should be recorded as that person wishes, having gone through that process, received support, <laughs> um, and self-identified. Um, you asked about whether people, trans people should be in women's or men's prisons. Well, I think trans women are women, and I think trans men are men. So I think that they should be in the prison that they're choosing. Um, and do, you, do I think that women in the Labour Party who raise questions about this should be expelled? No, I don't. Wow, not only are the Labour MPs completely lost, but the members must be also. Are they really clapping about her allowing dirty nonce cunts like Savile to change the terms of their crimes and move to a woman's prison? We have reached new levels of insanity, guys. It's truly amazing that people even need to ask these questions. Should someone who is a multiple child rapist get his wishes to have his crimes changed from those done by a man to those done by a woman is not something I ever thought I would hear in my entire life. Much like the second question, should this person be held in a woman's prison or a man's prison because they now identify as a woman? It actually beggars belief that this is what the world has come to. 
The obvious answer should be no to the first one, and he stays in a man's prison for the second one. It really doesn't matter what this dirty scumbag calls himself now. He committed these crimes as a man, and therefore should pay the price for them actions where they sit and rot right now. The response from Lisa Nandy is much like it was in the video I covered the other day. Batshit crazy. The crimes should be recorded as whatever they decide, yeah, Lisa. Are you for real, you dopey cunt? Surely, that leads on to a slippery slope where people can self-identify as something other than human and get away with a crime, as I'm pretty sure crimes can only be committed by humans. The way it's going, self-ID will be full-scope lunacy with people able to identify as aliens or something ridiculous and use that to defeat our woke virtue signal in politicians and court systems to get away with a crime. Sounds pretty far-fetched, don't it? But 20 years ago, a woman standing on stage saying a convicted nonce cunt should be allowed to choose how their crimes are recorded and moved into a women's prison would have been equally far-fetched. We have to remember that by what she has said there, she would let Jimmy Savile move into a women's prison or mental institution if he decided to identify as a woman. I really would love to know the train of thought that took her to this policy decision, or was it the constant pressure from trans activists that she was not strong or smart enough to ignore? Because it has got to be the dumbest policy choice ever, as I said in my previous video. Let's give priority to the 1% at the expense of 49% of the population. Because, I am expecting right now, most women are not going to back this stupid trout or these lunatic policies. She also claims women questioning the lunacy of the policy she would push as leader is not transphobic, which she then contradicts in the final little clip we are going to look at in this video. I, why did do you sign that pledge? That, why did you sign the pledge? I'll, I'll, I'll explain. About Women's Place UK. I'll, I'll explain. Because um, I do think that a meaningful dialogue and a widest possible dialogue about something that is deeply emotive and deeply sensitive to people is really, really important. But I think if you deny the right of trans people to exist and you deny their very basic human rights, then it, it, no, no meaningful dialogue is possible at all. And that is one of the reasons why I have a fundamental disagreement with the statements and aims of that organisation and of other organisations that cause deep, deep hurt to people who have the right to have their existence recognised. Now, I'm pretty sure Women's Place UK don't deny anyone's existence, so I'm not sure what the fuck she's talking about there. This whole issue is regarding allowing transgender people who have not even physically transitioned into women's only hostels because it might be upsetting to people which both Lisa Nandy and Rebecca Wrong Daly want to make against the law to refuse them access. Because of course, they back the self-ID policy that lets anyone choose their gender at the drop of a hat. This is rather amazing considering Lisa Nandy actually worked for a women's group before that protected women from abusive partners. So to now do a complete 180 and push for them to be put in possible danger is literally comedy gold and has ensured this idiot will never be the Labour leader. The things these two have said in the last couple of weeks has literally put Nandy and Corbyn in a skirt versus all women because these two shit weasels are trying not to hurt trans people's feelings while completely trampling all over women's rights groups and, by extension, most women out there. You really couldn't make this shit up, could you? Keep digging that hole though, ladies. We are all watching with glee as you shit all over your own chances of winning, which I will have to say were very slim from the outset. But on that note, guys, I am going to end the video there. Now, before I go, I've started doing live streams and uploading gaming content on my second channel. If you would like to come and join me for a live stream to chat in real time, have an interest in gaming related content on YouTube or just want to follow me over there because you are a legend, the link will be down in the video description below and as a pinned comment. I hope to see you all there. Now as always, before I go, I want to thank our PayPal, Patreon, Subscribestar and YouTube members for supporting the channel along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one. And Corbyn neutral by Christmas. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And
and it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. Ramon! Ramon! <laughs>